Hello everyone, uh, welcome to this Cypress tutorial. In this tutorial, we will understand the different folders in the Cypress. So let's begin. After installing the Cypress successfully, we got these folders here. And if I explore this Cypress folder here, you will find four more folders. One is fixtures, integration, plugins, and support. You will also get more folders like screenshot videos. We will talk about those folders later on. But right now we will talk about these folders and we will also talk about these node underscore modules. So under the Cypress, we have fixtures. So what is fixtures? So tomorrow if you want any kind of test data, which means you need that in your test case. So you will write your test data here under this fixtures folder. And the way to write your test data is you would be using the JSON format and you would be saving your file as dot json so if i click on this example file you can see that tomorrow uh, let's suppose my test case requires both name and email and i want this data to be a part of that particular test case so i would be using this file and i would be using these fixtures so right now uh, we will not we are not talking about how we can use these fixtures but just to understand this folder structure later on in the upcoming tutorials we will see practically how we can use these fixtures here then we have a core folder which is called integration so under the integration test we you can see that we have multiple folders and under the multiple folders we have basically the test cases so at any kind of your test file, your test script will be under this integration test. So this integration folder is purely for writing your tests. And then you have a plugins folder and in plugins folder you have index.js. So basically these uh, plugins uh, are used to modify or extend the behavior of the Cypress. We will see uh, later on how we can actually modify and extend the behavior of Cypress. Uh, then we have uh, this support folder and under support we have this command.js. So when we are writing our scripts, uh, so the best approach is that we should follow the principles of reusability. For example, if you have written one piece of code and if you think that that code will be reutilized in different test cases, we are rewriting those as as a as a functions or as as a in the command section because we know that they would they would be utilized again and again right so any kind of scripts any kind of a test you think that that can be utilized again and again so write once and you can utilize them again and again for example tomorrow you have uh, you are you want log out in different test cases so instead of writing log out script again and again you will write it once place it under the commands or this and then you will call that login whenever you want even if you want that log out script to be a part of thousand scripts or thousand test cases so this is uh, basically the common functions or the commissions or the functions which you can utilize again and again it's increase a reusability and it makes your scripts more efficient. So this is the purpose of this support folder. Then we have this node underscore module. So here you will find all the modules, node modules which are required to run the, the Cypress properly. So everything is present here. Either it's kind of any anything related to Cypress which helps Cypress to run properly is present here underscore here into the node underscore modules. Then we have cypress.json. So Cypress have some default properties. For example, uh, they have some static, uh, they have some wait time, for example. So if you want to change the default properties of Cypress, then you can use this cypress.json. So this is the difference between, uh, you know, here you can define or override the default properties whereas in plugins you can modify or change the behavior so these are two different things as we move forward you will better understand what is the difference and then we have package.json and it contains the name version author and mainly the dependency of cypress here so it tells about 
about about our project about our package so what our package contains like what is the version of this particular test suits so who is the author of this test suits what is this test suit uh, contains what this automation suit contains is contains this hyperspace dependency who is the author what are the keywords what is this package is all about so all these kind of information are present here thank you for watching this tutorial if you like our content then do like comment share and subscribe our channel once again thank you so much and see you in the next tutorial